Hey, what's up everyone? What's the weather like in your area? It's going to be 90 degrees this weekend again. They claim it's a record, but it might be for this day. I don't know. I remembered it was the first week of October last, well, no, 2019. The first week of October 2019, we were in the 90s at around 100 degrees. But this year, two years later, we are going to reach around 90 degrees. So, for October October 9th, 10th, and 11th, we might reach 90 degrees. So, it's supposed to be around 90 this weekend. I call it swinter, swinter time, summer, winter. That year we almost had a Gravity Falls summer ween. <laughs> so, especially like like uh, the year before. It was, well, no, 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 I'm sorry. Three years before that. I think it was 2016. I think we had, um, I think we had a really warm Halloween, 80 degree Halloween. And uh, it was 15 or 16. And uh, our local meteorologist at the time, who now moved over to uh, Las Vegas, he said he's now doing the Nevada weather. He said, man, oh man, you're going to need some cool weather. He said, I don't know if you'll want to wear all those masks this uh, Halloween. Fast forward many years later and masks are mandatory anyway. So, Well, practically, not really. I mean, it's, you know, you know depending on the place. But, yeah, we have uh, Swinter time coming around again. I know it's not winter. Not till December, technically. To me, really, winter is when November time. November time happens. Really. Technically, winter is like when November time happens. But, went to the stores. The stores are unnecessarily empty. The shelves, they claim they can only get in 20% of the trucks. That's what some of the employees said. Some say larger percentage than that. Others say 20%. And then when you look around, you're like, really? The shelves are just empty. No laundry items. No washing items. Hardly. I got the last of each. I got the last of the downy, last of the tide, last of the detergent, you know, last of the uh, bleach, the last of the, uh, well, actually they had like nine bleach containers, but the rest of it was empty. Empty. Paper towels, empty. Canned food sparse. Plenty of applesauce, at least, I guess. We live off applesauce. We've been trying to get what we can of the canned goods, just in case. But, go to a store and it says, it'll say, water, no water. This one person was sharing from me from their home country online, saying that in com communist and socialist countries, <clears throat> you are not allowed to have but a certain amount, just like they were doing here. Someone we know came from a place like Colombia where there's socialist and communist where you cannot have but one thing a week of each item. Now they're wanting to monitor how much you spend. It's just crazy. It's literally insane. They're wanting to monitor how much you spend on certain items, where it's going, what you're doing with it, why you're spending that much. The IRS will audit you if you have over a certain amount on certain items. Sometimes you, when you have the, the availability money, like we did laundry today, that's like 40 something dollars trying to do all the clothes that you have not been able to afford to do because we don't have a washer and dryer right now well we have a dryer but the washer doesn't work so washer quit years ago um so we just do both in town but you know it's kind of like when you do laundry when you buy from necessities it racks up and you go from store to store you spend lots of gas money now trying to find the items that you need basic necessities items to get you know for the road for my father who's a truck driver or item basic necessities to have at home on hand for you know stuff like that and i don't know how other people do it i don't know how other people do it it's crazy mm -hmm. then you see all of those ships all of those ships all of those ships out in the ocean having all those cargo ships with with cartons and containers and crates 
of all of our stuff just halted out there in the ocean. You see them pouring out milk, pouring out milk by the droves, just wasting the milk, pouring it all out. Farm milk, and then, <clears throat> and then, uh, Gates, you know, Gates guy, you see him, he's, um, you see him, uh, buying up all that farmland, something's got the dog upset, but you see him buying up all the farmland, and then, yeah, it's crazy, it's insane, you'll see him buying up all the farmland, and then you'll see them dumping all the milk, and then you don't, they're not even harvesting all the corn, and I meant to ask people why they're not harvesting it. Probably to make the crisis worse, I guess. They didn't harvest the corn this year in our area. It's all just, there was a beautiful crops of corn. There were beautiful corn crops everywhere. And they didn't harvest it one bit, making the situation worse. Who knows, they might have told them to leave it because they want to make it worse. But it's crazy. They tell them to throw it out. They tell them to waste what they have. And then you're left with low supply and then they force a mandate on people when uh, in an, in a, in a uh, administration that people are skeptical of to begin with. And they force a mandate on people and tell them otherwise, well, you lose your job. So then there's no suppliers. And then there's a shortage of workers and healthcare workers, first responders, things like that. Amplifying a crisis. Then you see an amplification needlessly created of this crisis. So it's like... It's just unnecessary. But anyway, speaking of unnecessarily, I remember that forecast unnecessarily hot years ago. That was pretty funny um, back in 2019. But this might break a record this weekend. I don't know because the first few days of October that year was what was so hot. Then it cooled down a bit. So, But it's actually been it's supposed to be around 90, I think, 87 to 90, depending on where you're at this weekend. So... Anyway, they're making an unnecessary crisis, and it's just insane, and they cause superinflation. It's just, you know the situation, but what's the weather like in your area? That's the main question. This is an unnecessary crisis, though. It really is. It is an unnecessary crisis.